ProVision Mentorship is one of several strategic focuses of ProVision Solutions, Inc. I'm Jim Ewing, and mentorship can make a difference. This is one of several interviews with those who've experienced mentorship. Learn from their experiences. Then take a moment and share your experiences on our blog, ProVision Mentorship. So I, I come from an advertising background. I was uh, trained in the advertising world as a creative guy and uh, went from college to working for an advertising agency uh, and started my own company. And at that point in my life, I was a pretty young guy. I was 23 years old and built a company very rapidly. Uh, then, of course, in 1982, 83, we had a little recession and so wound up reducing the size of my company and then coming back and growing the company again uh, up to 23 people and one of the reasons that um, the company grew so rapidly the second time is along the way, uh, not in a formal way, I had people that encouraged me, mentored me, gave me ideas on how I could grow my business and many times it was even clients who encouraged me to be able to grow my business. Probably the the biggest schools of mentoring I've had is the school of hard knocks, where I tried something, it didn't quite work out, so I had to look at it a different way, approach it a different way, and, and I have to say along the way that I've probably learned a lot from my father. Uh, as a kid growing up, my, my dad was real good at asking great questions, and I think that's one of the keys of being good mentors, be able to ask the right questions to get people to think. And uh, I also worked for my father when I was a young boy, and his partner uh, was a, a total, totally different style from him. And so he also was a bit of a mentor for me as I was growing up. And so from my dad I learned about business skills, uh, I learned uh, business ethics, just sort of by observing. And I think a lot of times we, we think that mentorship has to be a lot of talking, but sometimes mentorship is just simply observing what other people are doing. Uh, I also learned things like sales skills, negotiation skills. It, it was interesting just to watch my dad because he was the rainmaker in the company. So he was the guy that went out and got the business for the architectural practice. He was an architect. What type of help can a mentor provide? When it comes to working with other people, and especially in business and, and helping other people as a mentor, um, you can help in a lot of different areas. Some of it might be in helping them improve technical skills, some of it could be improving sales skills or uh, selling your business to others, promoting your business to others. Um, it could be even simple things like just a, a bit of encouragement. I know in this day and age with recession on a lot of businesses can, uh, business people can get uh, discouraged just simply because they there are a lot of things you have to do in a business to make it successful. Um, and I, I think one of the best things that a mentor can do is to ask good questions and then listen and instead of providing advice, provide suggestions. Because I think most business people are smart enough to know what's a good suggestion or what's a bad suggestion or at least make that choice and then you're not, as a mentor, so much being a teacher, you're being a, a mentor. Talk with us about the development of the mentorship relationship. I think it's important to set some sort of guidelines or some benchmarks or some sort of structure for the mentorship uh, so that you have an idea of, of what the expectations are because I think as you start up in a mentorship relationship, the mentee obviously is looking for certain things and the mentor is looking for uh, other things, especially with a mentor, I think the most frustrating thing is if you're mentoring somebody and they're not making any progress. So if you set up some guidelines, set up some structure, uh, set up some, some benchmarks on where you're gonna go with the mentorship, then at least both of you can say, well, are we getting somewhere, is this working? Are we achieving what we have set out to do? So I think that in the startup phase, that's important to do. Um, in, in the mid stage, when we go from startup to transition, 
I think in the mid-stage, it's a matter of saying, okay, is there still value in the mentorship? Uh, sometimes it transitions from mentorship to friendship. Uh, sometimes it transfers from uh, mentorship to almost like a, a business partner. Um, I've had several relationships myself where um, a client or a friend that I've met has become involved in my business because the relationship was a, a mentoring each other and so we built a business out of it. And that can happen. So in the uh, stages where it's almost that transition or the, the stage from being a mentor to kind of taking the training wheels off and moving on, uh, I think also it's a matter for both parties, the mentee and the mentor, to say, okay, is there a need to continue this? Um, can we just stay friends or should we look at maybe checking in once in a while? Uh, is it still working? Is there other expectations? And if that if that's the case, then you know some mentorships last a short period of time. I, I've had some mentorships that are very brief. I've had other ones that went on for ten years. Uh, some of my clients became an informal mentor. I had one great client that uh, worked for a company for uh, it was client for ten years, and his mentorship was just simply, uh, "Hey, I'm downtown. Are you free for a lunch or a coffee? How are things going?" So it was never a, I think you should do this with your business. But he always had some great ideas, some great suggestions, uh, great questions, and as a result became uh, a very big support for my business. Is it possible for a mentorship relationship to be mutually beneficial? Well, I, I have to think back on my own opportunities to mentor others and I've probably learned just as much as they have just simply by observing or simply by talking to the individual, especially if they're somebody that's fairly young and they're just getting started in business. And I, I think one of the things it does is it really sharpens your own skills as a business person because as you're sharing the ideas on how to build their business, you look at it in your own perspective and you say, gee, I should probably be doing that too. And so, because sometimes you, you forget some of the fundamentals of business or you forget some of the skills you've learned and you take for granted. And so I think as you're mentoring other people, it also helps you sharpen your own ability. I, I think, uh, especially for an entrepreneur starting up in a business or even if they've been in business for a while, one of the biggest challenges is when you're running the company, when you're running the show, you're basically a lone wolf. You're on your own. You're you know, you can't go to your employees and say, hey, I'm having this challenge, this issue, can you help me out? Because they look to you as the leader. So having a mentor and being able to just simply share thoughts, ideas, get input, uh, really can help you stay on track with your business, can help you discover new ideas and directions. And so as a mentee, being able to just simply talk to somebody and say, hey, you know, have you had this experience? What can I do here? How can I do this different? Have you got some tips for both the protege and the mentor? One of the things I did realize with my dad was that um, for many, many years, he was encouraging me indirectly in what I did and in my business. And I remember looking on my library at home and I pulled his book off the shelf. It was all weather beaten, it was yellow, the binding was all beat up. And I looked at it and I thought, where did I get this book from? I looked at the publishing date, it was 1954. It was my dad's book. He started reading motivational books and, and books to develop business in the 50s. And he gave it to me when I got into business. And he said, you might want to read this. So some of the books I read were things like Elmer, Elmer Wheeler's book called uh, Selling Yourself to Others, How to Sell Yourself to Others. And Zig, Zig Ziglar's book, uh, see at the top. So indirectly he was mentoring me by educating me and giving me a little encouragement. Uh, the other thing I learned too which was interesting from a mentorship perspective was the um, community contribution, giving back. Uh, my dad was a member of the Lions Club, still is, and he spent a lot of time volunteering for projects that gave to charity and that sort of thing. And what I learned from that is when you do that, you also attract other people that are willing to help you, encourage you, 
uh, give you ideas because they see you contributing or putting something back to the public in general. So it was a great opportunity that way. And I remember many times my father would take me out on some of these volunteer projects and I'm thinking, why am I doing this? And I realized that the, the reason for that was to learn to contribute. What final thoughts would you share with those considering entering into a mentorship relationship? I'd say do it. I'd just say uh, there's a great benefit for not only the mentee, but the mentor, because both can learn, both can gain something. And like I say, for me, the number of times I've mentored other people, it's kept me sharp. It's kept me on the top of my game. And I've learned some things from the people that I've mentored. And from the number of times I've had somebody mentoring me, I've learned a great deal from them. One of the things I would say is don't look to find a mentor that's exactly the same as you. Somebody that thinks the same way. Because oftentimes somebody that has a different point of view can be a tremendous mentor simply because they're going to make you think different. And in business you need to be able to do that. So if you're the uh, creative type of person and generate ideas like crazy, maybe you need somebody that's got a little bit of structure and, and a way of being able to build a system. If you're a system kind of person, then maybe you need somebody that's got a little of that creativity and a little bit of that energy that uh, be able to develop some new ideas. So find somebody that's maybe a, an opposite thinking style to you as a mentor. Now it's your turn to share your experience with mentorship. Visit our blog, ProVision Mentorship. Make the investment in mentorship today for your success tomorrow.